Hey everyone, welcome back to Simpit Academy. We finally get to see Helios set up today. So the way I've done it is um, the main monitor for game, which is number one. The number is kind of small here. Um, number two, all the instruments, all the gauges, same resolution 1920 by 1080. And then this 800 by 600 um, small screen for the UFC. All right, so you'll see here, you will want to go left to right, top to down. Okay, in terms of total resolution will be from the left all the way to the right, and then from the top to the bottom. Go, try to go horizontal rather than like vertical. So a couple of things, we need to add several tabs, okay? The first one is the monitor setup, okay? It will detect, you should have your monitors connected. And the first one, then you set up a second one. Okay, keep adding. Now we have the second one. And then you want to come here and add your aircraft. As usual, on my videos, I am using the F-15E as an example, but the things that I share about um, FreeCAD, Arduino, and now Helios, obviously you can apply it to other aircrafts that you fly. All right. so. For the Strike Eagle, there are two actually. This Strike Eagle here, okay, and then additional viewports as well. All right, so what do you want to do? You want to come to the viewports and drag and drop, okay? There are six here. We are doing it for the pilot, so the left MPD. The Strike Eagle calls it MPD, F-16, A-10, call it MFD. So left MPD, right MPD, and the central one is MPCD, right, for color monitor. So whether you drag from here or you use the this generic one, okay, the result is the same. Then the viewports is for the MPDs and then this one here, the strike eagles is for all your instruments. Okay, drag and drop and place them wherever you want. You can move them, you can resize them. Okay, so this is done. Now, try changing the color, the background, whatever. Again, it doesn't do anything. No, if I'll explain the problem with the mfd later but uh, changing the color doesn't do anything so okay these are all the instruments that we want right to display on our second monitor so then the third monitor the 800 by 600 is here you can shift it slightly down and this protrude out or even slightly to the left it doesn't matter this is just a placeholder for you to help you place the result this whole ufc doesn't actually show up on the monitor so bindings um if you go to input not output interfaces strike eagle can continue scrolling down to instruments all right then you have to when you select one this uh, the appropriate information will appear okay then you drag and drop this over here all right one by one every instrument you need to bind so the good thing is since uh, a recent helios update it's auto binding i'm not sure whether it's auto binding for all aircrafts but at least the triangle is so i used to have to find see adi to adi and um, the bank angle, pitch angle, flag, whatever. 
So it was tedious and a bit of guesswork too. All right? Altitude, air pressure, all this. AOA, and then this cabin pressure. You, you no longer have to do all this. You just need to drag and drop. All right, so it should bind. If it doesn't bind, then this is what you need to do. Okay, you should always learn to do it manually, just like driving a, a manual car. If you know how to shift the stick, it helps if you don't have an automatic car. So this one is all, all the steps for manual binding. Okay, engine, there's a lot here. Okay. RPM, temperature, fuel flow, all pressure, and then more over here for the fuel quantity, gauge, display, flag. <sighs> Lastly, these three um, utility stuff, PC1, PC2. All right, now then we have this display, which I also had to bind. Again, with the automatic binding, you don't have to do this. So it's, this is for all the the buttons to press, so that they mirror to DCS. Okay, UFC option six of them. Okay, here's the thing: your monitor setup at the beginning, you will say that you need to click on this reset monitors. It should detect your setup like this. Okay, and you click, and it will be fine and your in interface status you will also ask you to save basically every tab especially the monitor setup and the interface status tab must be without error okay or else you cannot run it so i was testing different profiles so ignore the others now you have to go to your safe games whether um, the main one dcs or open beta config monitor setup you will have a file like this helios so a couple of things you need to do first of all don't just edit it directly always use notepad plus plus okay else you introduce errors so you have two big monitors, it might propose 3200, okay? Uh, see if it works. Sometimes it doesn't work, then you change it to 1920, okay? If it's too wide, when you open up your main monitor, you it might be too wide for you to even click on the, uh, the menu to start the uh, emission. All right, play with this either 3200 or 1920. Then um, I found it necessary to reduce to remove this line. And this main line at the bottom, additional line, is for VR. Okay, if you don't do VR, uh, ignore this. If you do VR and you want the the MPD's um, data to show up on the if you are using the Thrustmaster Cougar, then you need to add this. Okay. Even though F15E is called MPD, this line has to be called MFD. MPD doesn't work. Okay. This applies, I think, to all the aircrafts using MFDs. So you add this, then it will appear while you're in VR. Okay. And this line tends to disappear. So you add this line, you click save. Once in a while, after a couple of times, it will disappear again and you wonder why it stopped working in VR, doesn't show up the MFD. So come back here and add this line. Okay, then click save. So then we run the, that was the profile editor. Now you click on this control center. This will pop up, select your, aircraft okay this one f15e you click start okay then it says it's running profile now if for whatever reason if you have like three screens like me and sometimes the 
menu somehow you cannot even click on the mission um because let's say the ufc is is up and running you cannot even click it you click stop okay start your then you can click on the mission and then while the mission takes time to load then you come back here and click start all right this is the workaround A few more things to take note your resolution you want to select the maximum which in this example is the combination of three monitors right 3200 plus another 800 so 3840 by 1080 then your monitor here there will be many combination we are using helios so choose helios then over here, the VR tab, you make sure that you check this use DCS system resolution. Okay. If you don't do this, you don't do this, then your Helios might not work. Okay. So this is the end result. If you have a big monitor or three monitors, whatever your view of the virtual world of the game, right? And then here it's where you see everything. If you use DCS BIOS, everything works. Everything is clickable, turnable, pushable. All right. And then this thing, everything is perfect. Okay. Not in VR. In VR, um, this three M, um, not this, the, the two MPDs and the color MPDs, these three, um, have a transparent background while your VR head moves around the background shows the VR world which makes the MPDs not readable okay because it's too bright so I have a workaround um, around that I reach out to the DCS team the Helios team um nobody wants to work on it they they just point to each other so they continue to be um uh, transparent the the hornet doesn't have su such a problem and i think the falcon and the a10 also don't have transparent the hornet actually their mfds are fine but their instruments some of the instruments are transparent so it's the opposite problem Anyway, if you are not flying VR, this is perfect. Everything, all the instruments and the MPDs show, the UFC show, and you have the, all the buttons. Cool. All right. So, Helios is cool. Okay, before you look at Helios, you should make sure that your monitors are all hooked up. So, you come to right click display settings and first monitor instrument monitor and the small screen for UFC you should um, be able to see them all right so next we look at all the tabs here if you mess with the monitor once in a while um, you'll see warning signs basically before you are able to run it, everything must check out fine. Okay, every tab, especially the monitor setup, the status here, everything should be good. You must save the profile and you must do your monitor setup. Basically, have no errors before you can run it. So here it says this is outdated. Okay, so this is how my first monitor looks like blank. That's where I look at the DCS game. This is my instrument monitor, and then this is the UFC. Okay, the actual screen is just um, half of it. All right, then you add a new port, viewport. Um, here you may need to update patches, stuff like that. And here, if you see things like this, click configure. And then now we are good. All right. So if you haven't saved, if you make some changes and you haven't saved, you also have a warning here. 
So basically now we are good. All right. So when you are done, try to save and then also click start.